All right, let's talk about Europe, a continent rich in history, culture and innovation. But today it's facing unprecedented challenges that threaten its very fabric. We're diving headfirst into a continent facing a cocktail of crises so potent it would make a Greek tragedy look like a light-hearted rom-com. From economic instability to political upheaval, the issues are as diverse as they are severe. Economic turmoil, demographic decline and political instability are rampant. The stock markets are crashing, streets are empty and protests are becoming a daily occurrence. It's a perfect storm of problems that seem to have no end in sight. Big players, once the bedrock of Europe, now teeter on the edge of collapse. Iconic landmarks are showing signs of wear and tear, and the infrastructure that once supported thriving cities is now crumbling. Immigration tensions, a 35% surge in the last decade alone. The influx of refugees and immigrants has put immense pressure on border control and social services, leading to heightened tensions and conflicts. Experts predict an exodus of epic proportions. People are packing up and leaving their homes, seeking stability and opportunities elsewhere. It's a mass migration that could reshape the demographic landscape of Europe. People are leaving regions like they just heard their local pub is replacing beer with lukewarm tap water. The once bustling streets and local businesses are now eerily quiet, a stark reminder of the ongoing crisis. So strap yourselves in as we take a deep dive into the top 10 fastest collapsing countries in Europe. We'll explore the root causes, the current state of affairs, and what the future might hold for this beleaguered continent. Stay tuned, because this is a story you won't want to miss. Ah, Ireland. The land of Guinness, folklore, and rolling green hills that stretch as far as the eye can see. A place where the past and present blend seamlessly, creating a unique cultural tapestry. But beneath this picturesque surface lies a healthcare system on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Hospitals are overcrowded and emergency rooms are bursting at the seams. Despite impressive economic growth and a booming tech sector, Ireland's public services are struggling to keep up with the demands of its citizens. The bustling streets of Dublin and the serene countryside hide a growing crisis. The healthcare system is so backlogged, patients are starting to resemble ancient bog bodies, waiting endlessly for treatment. The elderly, in particular, face long waits for essential care. Elective surgeries? Forget it, you're more likely to win the lottery than get a timely operation. Doctors and nurses are stretched thin, working under immense pressure. Chronic underfunding and a government focused on attracting multinational corporations are to blame. While the business district thrives, public services languish. Ireland's healthcare woes are a canary in the coal mine for Europe. Other nations should take heed, as similar issues could arise elsewhere if not addressed. When a strong economy struggles to provide basic services, it's a sign the whole system might be held together by hope and duct tape. The cracks are showing and it's time for a serious re-evaluation of priorities. The people of Ireland are beginning to voice their frustrations, demanding better health care and more support for public services. Protests and rallies are becoming more common as citizens fight for a brighter future. The Emerald Isle's sparkle may be fading, but the spirit of its people remains strong. With collective effort and a shift in focus, there's hope that Ireland can restore its lustre and ensure a better quality of life for all. Next up, Greece, the birthplace of democracy and some fantastic salads. The Greek economy is as stable as a Jenga tower built by a toddler. Unemployment, especially among young people, is sky high. Greece is stuck in a cycle of austerity measures and bailouts with no end in sight. It's a stark reminder that even historically significant nations are not immune to economic instability. From the Colosseum to pizza, Italy has given the world iconic gifts. But lately their biggest export is political instability and crippling debt. Italy's revolving door governments make musical chairs look stable. Coalitions crumble faster than a biscotti and cappuccino and national debt keeps rising. This isn't just bad news for Italians, it's bad news for Europe. When the third largest economy in the Eurozone teeters on the edge, it's enough to make even the most optimistic observer reach for the grappa. Spain, the land of sun sangria and a generation wondering if they'll ever afford their own paella. 
Spain is grappling with a youth unemployment rate that's alarming. A highly educated, multilingual generation is struggling to find jobs. Even experienced workers are stuck in temporary contracts and low-paying gigs. This isn't about lazy millennials. It's deep-seated economic problems. From a rigid labour market to lack of investment, Spain's youth face a tough future. Even in the land of sunshine and siestas, the future isn't looking too bright. Portugal, known for its stunning coastline and delicious pastries, is facing a demographic time bomb. With one of the lowest birth rates in Europe and a rapidly growing elderly population, the strain is immense. The demographic imbalance is putting pressure on social security, healthcare and the economy. It's like trying to run a marathon with a backpack full of bricks. Eventually something's got to give. France, the land of romance and fine dining, is facing social unrest. Protests, strikes and general discontent are rampant. From the Yellow Vest movement to pension reform protests, the anger is widespread. It's not just one issue. It's a sense that the system is rigged against the average person. The French dream is starting to resemble a stale croissant, dry, crumbly and deeply unsatisfying. Belgium, the land of waffles and chocolate, is facing political crisis. The country is deeply divided along linguistic and regional lines. The Flemish and Walloon communities are in a perpetual tug of war. This political fragmentation has paralyzed the government. It's like trying to steer a ship with two captains who both want to go in different directions. Germany, the land of precision engineering and beer gardens, is facing a demographic crisis. A shrinking population, low birth rate and aging workforce are straining the social safety net. Germany has tried to address this with immigration, but that has led to social tensions. It's a complex issue with no easy solutions. Germany must address this to maintain its position as a global economic powerhouse. Sweden, the land of IKEA and ABBA, is facing rising social tensions. The country has gone from welcoming refugees to questioning its welfare state's sustainability. It's like throwing a party and realizing halfway through you might not have enough food. At the heart of it is a debate about national identity and immigration. It's a debate playing out across Europe and Sweden is not immune. The United Kingdom, a nation that seems to have taken a wrong turn and driven its economy into a ditch. Once a beacon of stability and economic prowess, the UK now finds itself grappling with a myriad of challenges that seem to have no easy solutions. Brexit has left the UK reeling and its future uncertain. The decision to leave the European Union has sparked a series of events that have shaken the very foundations of the nation. From political turmoil to economic instability, the ripple effects are being felt far and wide. It's like watching a once mighty oak tree slowly being eaten away by termites. The strength and resilience that once defined the UK are now being eroded by the relentless pressures of a post-Brexit reality. The decay is not just economic, but also social and political. From a plummeting pound to shortages of essential goods, the consequences are widespread. The devaluation of the currency has made imports more expensive leading to higher prices for everyday items. Supermarket shelves are often empty and businesses are struggling to keep up with the new economic landscape. The Brexiteers promised a brighter future outside the EU. They painted a picture of a sovereign nation, free to make its own decisions and chart its own course. The slogans and rallies were filled with optimism and a sense of reclaiming control. The reality is proving to be far more complicated and far less rosy. Businesses are facing unprecedented challenges, from supply chain disruptions to labour shortages. The financial markets are volatile, and the promised economic benefits are nowhere to be seen. The UK is now a cautionary tale about the perils of populism. The promises of a quick fix and easy solutions have given way to a harsh reality. The nation is grappling with the consequences of decisions made in haste, and the road to recovery is long and uncertain.
the future of Europe renaissance or ruins? From healthcare woes in Ireland to Brexit blues in the UK, Europe faces a perfect storm of challenges. But Europe has a long history of resilience and reinvention. The question is, can these nations overcome the challenges of the 21st century? Only time will tell, but the stakes have never been higher.